Hi, I'm Tracy Autry, and I'm the administrator for Wilshire Community Services and a licensed marriage and family therapist. It is perfectly normal to be experiencing symptoms that are related to anxiety or depression. Even if you have never struggled with mental health before, these times can certainly trigger things that are new and could be scary. So some things to look out for is if you find that you are sleeping more than normal or sleeping less than normal, if you are eating more than normal or eating less than normal, if you're having racing thoughts that you can't seem to control, or if you're kind of going through worst case scenarios in your mind and you can't shut that down, that could be a sign that you're starting to feel this at a deeper level, and it might be a really great time to think about reaching out and talking to somebody. During these times, we are mostly concerned about individuals who live alone and are primarily isolated. We're also worried about individuals who were already living with a mental illness, and then of course our older adult population who tend to live alone more often and are more isolated. And because they are also at a higher risk of COVID, they are probably also experiencing higher levels of anxiety and fear. And so we definitely want to reach out to those older adult individuals. I honestly think the most important thing is to talk about what you are experiencing and what you are feeling. I think in our culture, we tend to really want to focus on the bright side and to put on a brave face. And while that can certainly be a very good tool, it is equally important to embrace the human emotions of sadness, fear, frustration, even anger, and to feel comfortable sharing those. So anybody that you can talk to, a friend, a relative, anything that allows you to say those words out loud and to get some feedback and get some support is really the most important piece. I would also recommend turning off the news. It's important to be informed. It's important to know enough to feel like you are equipped to navigate the changing environment, but too much can be detrimental. So turn it off, turn on something light and funny, turn off the TV completely and listen to some music. Anything that allows you to embrace the beauty in life and the small pleasures in life that still exist even during these darker days are gonna help you to feel less heavy and allow you some time to just be at peace. If your mental health issues feel too difficult to deal with alone, reach out. There are lots of agencies that are still available. There are therapists that are still available who are providing services remotely. And if you don't know how to access those resources, call your friends here at Wilshire Community Services. And if we're not the appropriate agency for you, we can help you to find a resource that will help you. Here at Wilshire, we offer a variety of services to help individuals with mental health. We have senior care counselors available who provide one-on-one -on -one counseling to older adults, and they are still actively providing this counseling through telephone and other technology resources. We have volunteers who provide friendly contacts specifically to older adults to help them if they are feeling isolated or lonely. We have grief counseling available to anybody of any age. And we have a lot of resource connections. So again, if you feel like you are struggling with something and you need extra help, reach out to us and we can help to link you to the appropriate resource.